Hello everyone, this is Tobe Wonderly, and welcome back to more of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald version. We're finally back in this lady's house because I finally got the stupid harbor mail that prevented us from getting the coin case before. So now we can finally go gamble. <laughs> Literally. Um, they did keep the gambling aspect on this game at the uh, game corner, which is right here in Mauville City. Um, so yeah, not much to add to that. Uh, the slots on this game are somewhat, uh, easy to manipulate, though, I will go ahead and say. And even though there's these tables, um, this is actually a different game aside from the slots. We actually do need to get some coins, um, I'm just trying to remember if any of these people, uh, yes, they do give you coins. Um, I'll also be just, like, spending some time going around here. Uh, in the meantime, there's a couple other things I wanted to share quick, uh, Number one, I forgot to save the game before uh, turning off the GameCube the last time that I, I'd signed off in the previous video. So yeah, I had to pretty much redo what I just did. <laughs> I've just done so terrible at this game. And by the way, if you talk to this lady here, she'll give you uh, a doll, actually, which will get transferred to our PC that we can decorate in our room, or in another area of the game that we'll explore more of later. Uh, she gives you the doll that matches the starter you pick, so I got the Trico doll in this instance. If you started with Torchic, she'll give you Torchic doll, and then Mudkip, she'll give you a Mudkip doll. But anyway, yeah, I had to pretty much redo everything I just did. So I've been so terrible with uh, saving the game, it's like really ridiculous. The last time uh, I saved when I shouldn't have, and this time I didn't save when I should have, so yeah, that tells you what kind of a loon I am. <laughs> Uh, it's all good, though. What counts is I got back up to this point. I don't think any of my Pokemon's levels are different. I mean, there could be a slight variance in experience, but that's kind of obvious, depending on how many Pokemon I fought in between. And what the heck, we only have 20 coins, so let's go ahead and get another, um... Oh, maybe that's pushing it. I'll just get 50. I thought about getting 500, but I don't want to spend all my money at once right now. And these two ladies you can talk to, you can take a look at the prizes quick. A uh, bunch of TMs. This is probably the better half of the uh, stuff you can receive here. Um, in particular, these TMs are generally good. Uh, the one that really catches my eye is the last one, actually, TM13, which is Ice Beam, actually. Uh, TM24 is Thunderbolt. 20, or I don't know why they have this out of order. 35 is um, Flamethrower. 29 is Thunder. <laughs> No, 29 is Psychic, excuse me, and 32 is Double Team. Um, so all in all, these are pretty good, these are pretty good TMs, I would say. And, um, that's mainly what you're going to save up money for, is if you want to get TMs. But you can also talk to this lady, she'll also give you the dolls that I just mentioned earlier for a thousand coins each. So, uh, we already got Trico, so there, that saved us a thousand coins. So that was actually nice that we got one of them for free. That way, we don't have to spend as much. But yeah, you can get the other two dolls as well by paying a thousand coins each for them. I guess I'll go ahead and demonstrate what uh, each of these machines do. I guess we should start with uh, the slots, since that's a standard of all Pokemon games. Uh, if we push select, we can take a quick look at the info. I'm mainly interested in what the uh, uh, slot bonuses are. Okay, this is the one that has the um, real time. So that's where you gotta get, like, uh, a bunch of power saved up, and then if you can keep it consecutively going, uh, you'll get, um, a really big bonus. I think the one lady actually said it, you can get pretty much up to 660 coins if you do it just right. So let's go ahead and play some slots quick. Uh, here's wishing me some luck. This can be easily manipulated, though, if you watch the reels close enough, which is what I'm doing right now. Okay, lose. <laughs> a little bit more animated on this game, too, I noticed, as far as uh, what you can do. And already I am sucking at this. Okay. Hopefully we can, uh... It would be awesome if I got three sevens. Well, of course it would just get out of my reach. Like I said, I was trying to manipulate it, because you can do that if you just stop it at the right time. 
and of course it's not working. Oh, but here we got Pikachu uh, about ready to do something here. And it busted. So we got no bonus from Pikachu. I believe he'll give you additional power charges on your... Uh, there's like a gauge at the top. But I can't get any of the Thunderbolt icons or I'd be getting a bonus. Oh, what a way to go. That was just replay, so I didn't actually get any coin bonus from it. Uh, th I don't remember what the three low tide bonus was. I was just on the screen, I should really know what that was. Okay, there we go. Well, we got three coins and a Thunderbolt icon at the top, as you see there. Uh, that will be used for real time, you have to max out the gauge. And if you can get the uh, three sevens while that's active, you can end up with a really big bonus. But that is uh, going to obviously take some luck to pull off, as well as some good uh, concentration. Uh, we'll do a couple more. Watch, I'll probably say that and then I'll realize that I just ran out of coins. Okay, this... Okay. We got a few there from the cherries. Uh, just getting cherries. Oh, oh, oh. Don't breathe, anyone. Don't breathe. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, three Azuros would have been nice. Oh, but I... Yeah, if you get at least just one set of cherries, you do get uh, a slight bonus, regardless of what happens. Okay, I really need to know when to quit, though. It's addicting, though. Uh, in real life, if I ever did this, I could see why people were drawn into this kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, FYI, I, I've never used, like, an actual slot machine in a casino, but I have played a real-life slot machine, like, an actual slot. It just wasn't in a big casino or anything. Fun fact, um, yeah, I'm gonna quit, because we only got 13 coins left. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> and let's go ahead and, uh... Oh yeah, minimum wager is one. I think this is three. Yes, it's three. Let's go ahead and do the three. Big stakes. Okay, and then you can place your wager with the control pad and then press A. So basically, it's three coins times whatever the multiplier becomes. So if I uh, did it like this, if I want all why nots, or all a zeros, it'll only be times four. But I can also individualize it where I only pick just one. Or I could do it crossways where I pick all of a certain color category. So there's all yellow, green, purple. Uh, let's be gutsy about it. Let's pick the green skitty. <laughs> and you can play it up to six times, and of course I failed. Uh, you do have to bet um, three coins though each time you do it. I'm gonna stick with that. I wanna see if I can pull this off. Of course not. Oh, but it'd be a green why not. Green Skitty, come on. We can do it. It's completely luck based, so... There's no guarantee you're gonna get it. Um, this is our last bet too, so let's see if Green Skitty will actually pay off after all or not. And... we're busted. Oops. No coins left. Well, one. Yeah, that's pretty much the basics of it. I'm not going to do any more, because obviously I don't want the whole video to be just me gambling. I'm probably going to make the title based on that, though. Um, oh shoot, I forgot I never did battle Wally. So, for all you people who like seeing Wally so much, you get to enjoy watching me battle him again. Because I need to get in this gym now. Let's go ahead and just breeze through this cutscene. Oh uh, yeah, a couple other things, though, while I'm battling Wally here, again, um... The number one thing you'll notice, I even announced this on the channel itself, I had to reduce, uh, well, it, for some weeks it is going to be reduced, but uh, I changed the format for how I'm going to update Emerald from now on because I recently just got more hours at the job I work at, and I started a summer college course, so that's really going to take a lot of time out of my day uh, with those two changes in play now. As I've said before, my summers are not vacations for me whatsoever. <laughs> I am not like most people. I'm not off during the summer. 
Um, but with that said, like I said, I changed, uh, what, basically how I'm gonna do it is, um, Emerald will be uploaded at least twice a week, preferably the weekdays, but there might be some instances where I have to put it on the weekends as well, um, along with, uh, well right now it's Mario Kart Double Dash, but the side pro LP that I'm doing. The side LP is not gonna be affected by this change, um, I'm pretty sure, because they're side LPs, they're games that I have, can be a little more lax with, like, I don't have to worry about, like, so much stress involved with, uh, school and stuff on the weekends when this stuff has to be updated, so, um, with that said, the side LPs will still be uploaded on the weekends. But that's how that's gonna work out, um, I do apologize about, uh, the change to the upload schedule, but... I'm gonna at least try so that I can get more than two videos up a week for Emerald at least. Uh, again, that's not a, that's not a promise. The only reason I change it to where it's twice a week, a minimum, is because it'll make things easier for me when I do that, uh, and I won't have to get stressed out like, oh, oh my god, I don't have enough videos to show. So I basically just minimized uh, how much uh, work I'm gonna have to put, not just with um, school my school and my job and stuff, but also with LPs, because frankly, I'm just not going to have enough time to uh, manage everything at once like that. But uh, here we have uh, the electric gym, and uh, there's all these barriers that we have to kind of manipulate. You'll see there's switches that we can activate. Before we can activate our first one, we are going to start a double battle here. I am going to try to attempt the gym leader here, um, at least take him down, possibly. I kinda have a slight scare with him though. I'm a little worried that I some of my Pokemon aren't leveled up enough. Uh, we I'm gonna try to work around that though. Uh, it's mainly electric theme, if you couldn't tell. Um, uh, we'll just use Absorb on you, and we're gonna headbutt the Electrike. But uh, yeah, some of my uh, Aeron and Gex are good, but the rest. Uh, we're still in the uh, teens range, so we'll see what we can do with this. And um, there are better Pokemon than uh, um, Aeron for this gym. We, for instance, I'd actually would strongly recommend use Geodude um, if you're gonna play Emerald at least, just because of the difficulty of uh, the gyms that have changed for Emerald. Uh, they made it where they're basically tougher. If I haven't explained that already. But, uh, for some reason they made it where the gym leaders get a bit tougher. I don't know why that is. They, maybe it's just a way to say this is the hard mode of the game. I don't know for sure. But, uh, that has changed. Uh, FYI on that note. So, like I said, I just recommend if you're gonna do this gym that you, uh, use the Geodude if you want to get through it easily. Aram works good, though, too, just because, um, a good attacker and, uh, it has Mud Slap, which isn't the best ground move, but it's something at least. At least it lowers um, some of the opponent's accuracies. However, as you just witnessed right there, some of them are going to know Shockwave, so accuracy loss is not going to matter, because Shockwave will never miss, despite the accuracy loss. Uh, Pursuit, I guess, on Voltorb. I'm probably going to get paralyzed to death here. I'm surprised it went first, but I guess that was because Aaron's holding the Quick Claw still. So how about that? That worked out good then. And uh, Gex is pretty fast too. It surprised me that he, uh, he's faster than the Voltorb. But hey, I'll take it. Yeah, we'll just use Absorb now since we're not doing too much damage against it. Uh, Voltorb's defenses are average-ish. I don't really know how to describe that. They're decent. They're not the best, but they're better than probably some other electric Pokemon we've encountered so far. So with that said, we took out these two uh, nitwits, is what I'm going to call them. Aeron has been paralyzed, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. And as you just seen there, I stepped on the switch. So, some things are going to change here. We have another trainer to face here. But yeah, the, the fencing changes each time you step on the switches. Um, it's a minor puzzle, nothing too difficult. I mean, you can only try so many possibilities to get it to work the right way, so... 
that said, like, you know, it's not that tough of a challenge, I'll put it that way. And, um, let me think what else I need to probably update on. Oh, this is a big question I was going to ask uh, my general audience here on YouTube. Uh, this involves the video length of um, this particular LP, actually. Uh, Mario Kart Double Dash is fine the way it is. I'm pretty sure everyone understands, you know, that one video, um, especially with being allowed to record over 15 minutes, I don't have to worry about the time on it. Wow, that zigzagging is Thunderbolt. How about that? And yay, my game didn't freeze. <laughs> Um, before I talk about the time limit, let me just address this quick. Um, for people who own Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, um, well, I don't know that Emerald's been affected too much by this, but it's, it particularly involves Ruby and Sapphire. Um, something weird happens with certain, certain cartridges of Ruby and Sapphire. It involves the moves Thunder and Thunderbolt. There's a few select people who, um, if the who own this game that if they use Thunder or Thunderbolt or if that animation is shown during the game, it actually freezes the game. And luckily, as you just seen there, mine didn't freeze, so <laughs> I guess that means I have a good one. That's all I can say about it. So yeah, um, that's just a little fun fact. Uh, it's strange though, it, like, of all moves, it's Thunder and Thunderbolt. It just seems so weird. I don't know if it's just because it's so flashy or what's involved with the animation, like, why it does that to certain cartridges, but, yeah, it, apparently some people have reported that their game freezes whenever they use those moves. So, I don't know. Just something weird, I guess. Okay, last two trainers, well, regular trainers, so we didn't count the gym leader. But yeah, what I was gonna say is, um, for video length, uh, generally, as you noticed, Emerald has been getting a lot of long videos, and it kind of annoys me in a sense, but uh, I'm just going to go ahead and ask this as a question. Um, would you people prefer, like, I have videos that are around 20-ish, like 15 to 20 minutes, or would you prefer longer videos? Um, you can go ahead and comment on that if you'd like. Um, let me know how you are with that. I personally like to aim for the 15 to 20 minutes range. But that's just me. As a matter of fact, I, there's no way I'm going to do the gym leader now. I can already tell just by looking at the time limit for this video. Because I do want to stop it at 20 minutes. Um, but uh, let me know on that if you would like to uh, uh, have longer videos or if you're okay with um, the 20 minute, well, like 15 to 20 minutes. The reason I prefer 15 to 20 minutes is just because the way I look at it, at least, um, if you have more than one subscription to a channel here on YouTube, uh, you're probably going to get a lot of updates, obviously, and um, if I have videos that are half an hour, that it takes that much time out of your day to watch through my videos alone. So with that said, you know, do you are you okay with longer videos, or would you like me to start cutting back? to what I'm going to do, like, right now, maybe. I'm surprised these two are holding in, by the way. They're actually not doing that bad of a job. I would like to use Mud Slap before Aeron faints, though, if I can do that. Let's see if I can do that here. Because, uh, Magnemite's both electric and steel that work perfectly. Oh. Doesn't look like it. Well, thank you for taking out my best asset here. <laughs> Bruce is good, though. Uh, uh, this is actually a good backup as well. Since there's some Pokemon that are Steel-type in this gym, uh, fighting actually works good here. Uh, let's see if we can use another Quick Attack, and I'm sure I'll go last anyway, so I'll just use Vital Throw. Because uh, Makuhita, aka Bruce, is not the fastest of Pokemon. And of course I get confused. You're just going to make this so long, aren't you? Oh, but I managed to pull through. That's good. Yeah, you're going down. Okay, so... I'm obviously going to have to heal here once uh, I end this battle. I, I need to use Fake Out more often, by the way. I noticed that. I have that move now, and I'm not really using it. 
It can only be used on the first turn of uh, when your Pokémon comes out, though. So that sucks. I'm glad I'm at least leveling up a bit. And here we have Volbeat, the counterpart for Illumis, or Illumise. I never knew how to pronounce the other one. I thought it was Illumis, or I don't know. It's either Illumis or Illumise. But either way, uh, this is the counterpart for it. I really don't care for either of them, to be honest. Uh, I'm not a fan of the, the Volbeat, Ill Illumis, Illumise, whatever you want to call it, family. They're not my favorites, so I'll just go ahead and say that. They're kind of annoying the battle, though, I will say that, because they use moves that just kind of irritate you, such as the confusion. Probably, I think we are going to witness double team here, possibly. Oh, but no, it's just going to use quick attack. Because it wants to be a jerk to me. So we'll send out Merlin. Merlin could use some more experience, though, too. Gex really doesn't have the greatest moves to use against this thing. Um, so that's why I just stuck with Quick Attack. Uh, Pursuit would probably be better, but because I'm paralyzed, I'd like to try to get the first hit in if I can. That's just my illogical way of thinking, if you want to look at it like that. Hey, Merlin leveled up! That's great! Uh, Merlin will be evolving soon, by the way. Level 20 is when it will evolve, so you'll probably see that soon. Uh, Merlin's not going to be staying on the team probably much longer, though, because uh, we'll be starting to run into some more Pokémon that are actually going to be permanent team members soon, including the Electric I caught earlier, but for some reason, or at least unbeknownst to you people, uh, it's currently my party. <laughs> for a specific reason that I'll explain in a later video. But I'm going to stop it here. Next time we'll take on uh, Watson, the leader of uh, Mauville City Gym. This is Tobe Wonderland. I'll see you guys back next time with more of Let's Play Pokemon Emerald. See you guys later.